Welcome to my advanced Tinkercad modeling instructional series. In this tutorial, we're going to reduce facets in curvy objects. I'll show you some tricks to increase resolution on some of the shapes that have faceting issues in Tinkercad. I've got some beveled edges here. If you zoom in really tight, I can see I've got some beveling, I mean, some faceting going on. So to get rid of that faceting, I'm going to select this model. I'm going to duplicate it once. I'm going to change the color. So I've got a duplicate on top of my original. I'm going to rotate it. So I kind of see this pattern here. So I know I've got two of those bevel segments intersecting each other right there. I'm going to duplicate again without doing anything else. Just duplicate again. I'm going to rotate this one more time. I'm going to turn it into a wildly different color. I'm going to rotate it until I see it intersecting the center again of a different bubble. Facet. Duplicate a couple more times. I'll take that last duplicate, make it a completely different color. I'll give it another Rotate so I can see more of it. Duplicate it a couple times. Eh, I think that might be good enough. Maybe just one more time. Blue. And just kind of move it so I can see that blue stripe. Boy, look at this. We're going to group this. So I have about, oh, how many was that? Maybe 10 instances of this. Maybe, maybe more. But now, the resolution is so much tighter than it used to be. I don't have those little separate facet lines. I mean, they're, they're still there slightly, but boy, they're microscopic. So that is how I increase resolution on parts. I can do that with a sphere also. I'll take this, center it. Got a whole bunch of facets happening. I'm going to duplicate it once, change the color, and I'm going to rotate that. You can see that it's in a different position. I'm going to duplicate that once, twice, three times. I'm going to change the color to something totally different, pink. This time I'm going to rotate it on X. So I can see that new color a lot, and I'm going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Change the last one to something different. This time we'll rotate it on this axis. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. That last duplication will be, let's see, orange. And I'm going to take orange and maybe rotate it on Y. Rotate it on Z, duplicate, duplicate. Boy, that's already a good dozen. Let's group this. Okay, here and there is a much higher resolution sphere. Let me bring up an original one so you can compare. There you go. It's still not completely perfectly smooth. I mean, like, depending on how big you're going to print this, like, a lot of times my spheres are the size of a P on my model, so it doesn't really make too big of a difference, but I do like to increase the resolution. All right, there is a little quickie tutorial on increasing resolution. You can do it with any kind of symmetrical object. Here, we'll take this guy out here, do the same thing with him. I've got facets. Don't want the facets. I'm going to duplicate, change the colors, turn, just keep duplicating, keep moving it until you have a really super high, much higher resolution than what you started with. Just remember to group these your new object, your new multiple object. Uh, 
um, there you have it. Here's an original one that doesn't have any duplication, and here's your higher resolution one. Huge difference, especially if you're printing with a resin printer. It makes all the difference in the world. Thanks for watching this series. Feel free to leave a suggestion for future content in the comment section.